Cloudera is thrilled to announce the release of our newest applied machine learning prototype called LLM Chatbot Augmented with Enterprise Data. This is available for you now in both public and private cloud with Cloudera Machine Learning. As a reminder, applied ML prototypes, or AMPs as we like to call them, are specifically designed to kickstart your custom ML use cases with end-to-end -end prototypes. With the release of this AMP, we are demonstrating that in Cloudera, today you can host any open source LLM, you can create and host AI applications powered by your enterprise data. In this AMP, we demonstrate how to generate factual responses from large language models by connecting it to a vector database. Best of all, this is all done without making any external calls to any SaaS AI service thus keeping your interactions and data private and secure. Let's take a look at what this looks like in action. You can navigate to your CMO workspace and select the AMPS catalog. Here you will see our new AMP, LLM Chatbot, augmented with enterprise data. We will go ahead and launch this AMP as a project in our workspace. Once the AMP is built, you can launch the pre-built web application, which looks like other chatbot applications. If you ask a question that is specific to Cloudera terminology to a general LLM, like what kind of users use CML, it will give back an answer that is incorrect in the context of Cloudera. For example, at Cloudera, CML is not in fact referring to a type of machine learning algorithm, but the LLM does not have the specific documentation to draw upon. So you just saw an open source instruction tuned large language model hosted in CML and you saw a web application where a user could ask an enterprise specific question that would likely result in a hallucinated or incorrect response. One strategy to minimize hallucinated responses is to give it context from your enterprise data, effectively creating a subject matter expert chatbot. In this AMP, we've used a selection of CML's documentation and populated a vector database with it. Now, when a user submits a question, the vector database will be queried to see if there is any text similar to the question being asked. If there is, that text will be added to the question to create a response that is more likely to be factually correct. So let's ask the app the same question again, but this time with the benefit of including the context from the vector database. As you can see, the answer is now correct in the context of Cloudera machine learning documentation. So what's happening behind the scenes in this app? We install Python dependencies, we download open source models from Hugging Face, we use an open source vector database for semantic search, and we eject our enterprise knowledge base into the vector database. Finally, we create and run a Python web application on top of that. We used H2O models, Milvis DB, about five pages of CML docs, and Gradio for the UI interface. But all of this is customizable and pluggable to your specific use case. Use any model, any data, any database, and any application framework of your choosing. With this AMP and CML, any developer now has the tools they need to build and host open source LLM applications for the enterprise.